next speaker is Paul Carey. Uh, Paul has been a, a very good friend of the Department of Building and Civil Engineering for a, a number of years. Uh, his, he is himself a graduate of our department. Uh, we're glad to welcome him back home. Uh, during my own time here at GMIT, Paul has acted as the uh, external industry uh, examiner for construction management. Uh, must say, I always found him very thorough uh, and conscientious, uh, conscientious in his work and uh, very constructive uh, with his comments and sound advice. Uh, he's also assisted our department with research projects, as Mary said, uh, including uh, our initial work in building information modelling and uh, as Mary also pointed out, covering some uh, research projects into uh, defects and construction waste. Uh, at a wider level, Paul was also the chairman of the Galway Harbour Company, and this afternoon we're here about uh, the Galway Harbour development, uh, and it's fair to say he's been uh, one of the champions of pushing that project forward. Uh, as you can see from the slide behind me, Paul also plays a, a key role in the Construction Industry Federation nationally and local, at locally. Uh, we just look forward to his observations on construction, particularly in the Western region. Paul. Thanks, Mark. Hello, everybody. Um, I don't have many slides. I don't have any slides, actually, and I was going to borrow a slide off John O'Regan when I saw it there, which uh, I think I'd go for the bridge across the Shannon rather than the cowboy slide that he had um, after that. So uh, thank you to Martin and thank you to the GMIT for asking me to come here today. Up to now, I've managed to sit up at the back there and heckle now and again, uh, but they managed to rope me into this today. Um, I found it difficult when I read that uh, John was going to give an overview nationally and I had to repeat that performance. I then said maybe I could talk about the Galway Harbour development, uh, which I've been involved in for the last eight years, but um, he kindly got Brendan Ludden from Tobin's to speak about that in the afternoon, so I'm starting to scrape the barrel. But anyway, um, I've been asked to speak to you today about a contractor's view of uh, the construction climate in the West, and whilst nationally there certainly is a pickup. Um, dare I say, in the East Coast, there certainly is a pickup. Um, we certainly haven't seen it down here yet. Um, my statistics, I suppose, uh, would be taken from talking to uh, fellow contractors in the West, um, talking to mechanical and electrical contractors, to suppliers. I was talking to the leading uh, quarry supplier in Galway City this morning, and uh, at the moment they have one block truck on the road. I believe the great way of counting how busy things are is how many ready mix trucks are on the road from the quarries, how many block trucks. He did assure me that that truck now is working full time. So uh, I shudder to think what it was like six months ago. But it, it is a marker when you see um, activity through the concrete industry. I, I feel that is a good marker. He did assure me though that uh, throughout the country things are starting to pick up, as I said, particularly on the East Coast. But um, if you go around this city, uh, with the exception maybe of Hewlett Packard, and I think there's two schools, um, Stewart's are doing one in, in Oran Moore. Um, there's not that many significant projects as work in the college and in the, in the hospital, but we do need to see more government spending um, in the West and more private spending, and John alluded to that. Um, from speaking to contractors and suppliers, they all have the same story. Yes, there is a pickup, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, where we go, we have to wait. I believe there are some initiatives now coming from central government again, both in direct investment and also uh, maybe um, to indirect investment or incentives to kind of reju rejuvenate uh, construction. Having said all that, we have to remain positive. And yes, I believe in the West we will improve. We always find that it takes a little longer for, the, for things to pick up down here. We've all, a lot of us have experienced recessions in the past and we do bounce back. Um, the new motorway project uh, from Tune to Gort, or Gort to Tune, I believe is, is going to be signed by the end of this month, and it will be an example, I think, of how things will pick up certain contractors, engineers, um, uh, general construction workers will be engaged on that, and when they're working on that, there's opportunities elsewhere for other people to take up employment where there are gaps to be filled. 
I think the confidence um, is coming back into the market. Um, we've been lucky ourselves. Uh, we, we experienced a decline last year in our own company uh, towards the end of the recession. Uh, we were fortunate this year to pick up two significant contracts. Uh, one of them, John alluded to, is Ashwood Castle in County Mayo. Well, it's actually, believe it or not, the grounds are in Mayo, but you go across the bridge to Ashford and you're back in County Galway, and Galway County Council love that because they get the rates. Um, however, it's um, a job that uh, we're involved in on a joint venture, and Sean Canney was down visiting a student recently, and he thought that maybe this is where all the builders went to hide during the recession. Um, he turned the bend and we had, we peaked, I think, at 295 men on site. Uh, on one particular day, it's averaging about 240 to 250. Uh, it's a seven day week, 12, 14, 16 hour day. Um, it's great to, great to see it, great to see familiar faces, familiar companies, vans of subcontractors all back and gearing up for work again. And again, as John alluded to, it's from outside investment. Um, a South African company bought Ashford. I believe Donald Trump um, has bought Doonbeg. And outside investment certainly is benefiting the west of Ireland, and long may it continue. Um, another good news story from the west, and I think from the Midlands, uh, Kieran Murphy will have a very good news story later on about his concrete business. I was in his plant last year, and uh, the business that he has achieved throughout the UK is truly outstanding, and he will uh, inform you of all that later. But uh, McGrath Cong Lime Works in uh, Mayo um, have found that the sand in their limestone quarry in Kong is of very high quality, very low in iron, and as a result, it took them about four years um, of negotiations. They have started exporting limestone sand, believe it or not, from Mayo out to the port of Galway. This year, they hope to export in excess of 70,000 tonnes, predominantly to Estonia, to Scotland, uh, to the UK and to Sweden, and it's used in the uh, glass manufacturing business at the moment. Uh, calcium carbonate is used in the uh, pharmaceutical and the agribusiness, and they hope to expand that. And Brendan Rudden in the afternoon will explain to you our plans for the port, uh, which uh, the planning has been lodged and subject to the port developing. Um, they believe they have a market as far away as the United States for ships up to 30,000 tonnes, and uh, they tell us they have over a 100 year supply of limestone in Kong. So a great news story, it took an awful lot of work from McGrath to find this market, but when they saw a decline, it was a great example, um, they saw a decline in construction and they went to see could they get a high end market for what essentially as a rule used to be a low end product. Um, so a fantastic news for the West has created employment both in Galway and in Kong, and uh, long may it continue. And I believe other quarries are now looking at this business of ex exporting um, an excellent resource. Um, there's not a lot more I can really say about construction in the West other than that uh, I do believe it will improve. It's refreshing when you see the statistics, which I don't have, but John brought along, so I'll borrow them. Um, it's refreshing when you do see the statistics, and certainly things are improving. They're improving in the East, and I hope they will down here. I suppose when I look around at all of the students in the room, um, maybe the fact that things aren't as busy you will be, uh, when you go out into the field of employment, you'll be getting on the construction train um, in a station. There was a while there where people literally had to run and jump onto this construction train as it hurtled around the country and probably didn't get the correct experience that they wanted in a controlled manner. Uh, they joined an industry uh, where everything has been rushed, as we've seen, uh, quality and uh, safety to some degree, and building regulations, some people didn't adhere to that, and it was because it was boom times. Uh, people, I believe, didn't get the correct training at the time because everything was being rushed. So I think it is a great opportunity at the moment for the people who will be going out as engineers, designers, specifiers, uh, site managers from this college, it's going to be great for them to, to join what is a great industry, but in a more controlled way. Certainly a lot of you maybe will decide to go overseas for a while and hopefully come back. Um, I think that's a great idea too. Uh, I did it myself. I was uh, in college here in 1985 
uh, which is almost 30 years ago. And I can confirm I do still wake up at night in cold sweat thinking about autumn repeats. <laughs> <coughs> but um, I went to the UK for the two summers um, when I was uh, in college here. And what I learned on those two short summers on huge construction projects, working as a general operative, I sometimes reflect on it today. So to go out and get good experience, and if you learn it abroad, to bring it home, uh, there will be jobs here in the future. Uh, maybe another thing I could mention today, um, from watching the interaction with the students, and we'd love to see students come into sight on block release, that maybe the college would maybe consider, um, I don't know how it would work, but it's worth consideration, and I throw it out to the floor, um, in the legal profession, I think they call it pupillage or deviling, where um, a, a, a junior um, shadows a barrister or whatever for a certain period of time. But if some kind of shadowing, that's not the shadow economy now, but some kind of shadowing where um, a student will say would work uh, in conjunction and shadow, be it a site manager, be it a quantity surveyor, an architect, and literally work on a one-to-one -one with them to be at their shoulder all the time, because I believe what students would learn from that, maybe initially not actually taking part, but to be there listening and watching and seeing how they interact, how they deal with problems, all of the things that come to them during the day on a one-to-one -one basis, I think would be excellent. Um, it might work for some people, it might not work for others, there might be confidentiality issues. They'd all have to be thrashed out, but I think it would be an excellent idea. There might also be the odd site foreman who might get a bit excited now and again uh, on site, and they would have to listen or deal with that, but that's only a very rare occasion, I believe, that that happens. So it might be something that the college might consider. Um, it might not work for every student, it might not work if there's 50 people looking for placement, but I think it would be excellent for certain students where they would spend six months shadowing somebody. Um, just to maybe to touch on the new port of Galway, it probably will be the most significant uh, infrastructural project in the West. Um, the planning has been lodged uh, with uh, Ambar Planola. Uh, latest date for submission is tomorrow, and uh, Brendan Nudden from Tobins will explain it to you later on in the day. I think it will be a huge uh, plus for the city, um, assuming that planning goes ahead. I believe that the thought and the preparation and the expertise that has gone into it to our design team, including Tobins, um, Aquifact, and Gus McCarthy, um, they have been very thorough and exact in dealing with uh, the environment, in dealing with the actual construction process, uh, dealing with all the planning regulations, dealing with national parks. We've done everything we possibly can. It has taken quite a long time, but we believe we have given it our best shot and uh, we are hopeful of a positive outcome. Um, somebody said to me recently that um, when the port is built, uh, it will open up a lot of the town, and that is very true. There is a lot of areas of the inner city uh, particularly in the port area that will be opened up for development. So we could witness in the next few years huge development again in our city, but in a more controlled way uh, and bearing in mind the community in that. I think that's all I have to say. Um, I think we should all be positive and be upbeat and hopefully um, maybe next year John or Regan will have um, a new slide with a larger bridge across the Shannon. Uh, for all of the funds that are going to come from central government and all of the investors that are going to travel down to the west. And uh, I hope we're here uh, next year to share and witness that. Thank you.